Hey, good evening, Way Church family and friends. It's Pastor Josh coming to you tonight. And we're going to be taking some time right now, beginning this evening, leading up to our New Year's revival, praying this week for breakthrough. The breakthrough revival taking place in our lives, in our homes, in our families, and our churches. And so that's what we're excited for, excited for what God is doing this year in 2022 and expecting those great things to come to pass. The word of the Lord for us specifically as the Way Church uh, family is that we would experience breakthrough in 2022. Hey, good evening. I see several of you jumping on. Do me a favor. Go ahead and comment. Say hello. Uh, you know, throw a little praying hands emoji in there and let me know that you're watching. So good to be able to have you. But this is what we're believing God for and you can put it in the comments. Uh, is this is breakthrough in 2022. Amen, Maria. Breakthrough in 2022. Hey, Sue, I just saw your testimony rejoicing with you this evening. Amen. Praise God. Awesome testimony of God doing that uh, in your life. That is it. That's breakthrough already. Sue has seen breakthrough in 2022. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to give us just uh, some instructions, a couple of uh, things here that I want to share with you before we take some time praying. And then we're going to actually pray together. We're going to pray in spirit and pray as the Lord leads. And what this time is for is also a launching pad then uh, for yourself. So take then, basically view it this way. I'm priming the pump, okay? We're going to get it going together. And then what I want you to do is to take that and then go deeper, go further. Allow that to be uh, your time, you know, launching you into your time of prayer. And what I want to encourage you with this is that <clears throat> uh, you, as we are starting off this year, you have the opportunity to start the year off right. That's why several of you, you were there in church, several of you were watching online, you gave your first Sunday to the Lord. And now what we're going to do is our first full week, we're dedicating it to the Lord in time of prayer. And this is also my challenge to you is to ask the Lord what he would have you to personally fast. I know there's all kinds of different fasts out there. And uh, some, you know, for some of you, you want to do a food fast. I highly recommend that. And I shared more about that on uh, earlier today, about the importance of doing that in your life. And what that does is it actually removes those things. Hey, good evening, Edna. Bless you. Uh, that are speaking to you and trying to distract our minds and our flesh. And when you choose to fast, it places your spirit man back in control and it helps you to actually hear, not with these ears, but hear in the spirit so much clearer the things that God would be speaking to you personally. Hey, good evening, Jessica. Glad to have you on tonight. We bless you. Believe in God for breakthrough in 2022. Amen. That's right, Maria. We're believing that for you as well. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you during this time of prayer that we're taking as we're jumping in this evening right away and going, this is day one, then stick with me, then we'll come back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday is when our New Year's revival, breakthrough revival, come on, Come on, somebody, breakthrough revival this weekend. We're pressing in beforehand because it's placing us in a, a spot of preparation. We're preparing our hearts with great expectancy for what God is going to do in 2022. Hallelujah. How many of you are excited for what God is going to do in and through your life in 2022? Hallelujah. I'm encouraging you already right now. It's going to be a great year for those, hear me carefully, for those that receive the word of the Lord, grab hold of it, and then do what he's telling you to do. Realize that just because it's a brand new year doesn't mean that all the troubles disappear. That's why we're praying for breakthrough. All those type of things. But you have to remain steadfast in your faith, unshaken, unmovable, standing firm in the foundation that God has for you. So my expectation is that God will be faithful 
once again to me in this year. And I shared this earlier with you uh, that our pastor, the pastor for Emily and I, had said that this would be the year of double. So as we're believing God for breakthrough, I want you to believe for double breakthrough in your life, whatever that may be. So number one, what I want you to do right now is if you can, I'd encourage you to write this down somewhere. And the reason why I encourage you to write things down is that it's actually been proven that those that write their goals down are actually 10 times more likely to reach or to achieve their goals than those that don't. There's an important thing that takes place when you actually take the information that you're hearing, and especially when God is speaking to you, speaking to your spirit, then writing it down so that it can what be before your eyes and that you can be reminded of that so then you can meditate on the rhema word of God uh, to you, that spoken word, the word that has become alive for you, and you can keep that ever before your eyes. Because guess what? The enemy, the world, other people, they're going to constantly try to put other things before your eyes, and that's how the enemy will distract you. So uh, number one, what I want you to do then is write this down. I want you to be specific, okay? Be specific. What does breakthrough mean to you? What does breakthrough mean to you? I know some of you who are watching, you're believing for financial breakthrough in your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to believe God together with you. Others of you, you're believing for breakthrough in your health. There have been some that have been chronically ill or get ill easily. I want you to know to expect breakthrough in your health this year in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, you're the redeemed of the Lord and you shall walk in divine health. This is your breakthrough year in the name of Jesus. You shall not be plagued by sickness and disease because God has removed sickness and disease from the midst of you. Another one, some of you, you're praying, you're believing God for breakthrough in your families, breakthrough in your homes, breakthrough in your jobs, breakthrough in relationships, whatever that means to you. I want you to be specific. What is that desire that's in your heart that you want to see come to pass in 2022? Lord, I am believing you for breakthrough in this area. <clears throat> and you might say, well, we've been given the victory in Jesus. Yes, we have. Amen. Come on, somebody. Say amen to that. Go ahead. Put amen in the comments. We've been given the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. But I want you to know that obviously there are certain barriers that have been in our lives that the enemy has either placed there himself or limitations that we personally have allowed to be existent in our lives that this is what we're going to do is that we're going to break through those barriers this year in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So whatever that may be, whatever that limitation, whatever that barrier may be, I want us to press in together this week. We're going to start tonight, okay? That's what we're doing right now. Then Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, evening begins our revive our breakthrough revival 6 30 p.m it's going to be powerful then sunday morning sunday night awesome way to start off the year pressing in for breakthrough and revival together in the name of jesus so i want you to be specific write it down all right write it down so if you don't have something now i encourage you write it down you don't have to put it in the comments if you want to you can we'll agree together but this time that we're taking right now is a time of preparation. Everybody say preparation. Go ahead and put that in the comments for me tonight. Preparation. Come on, what are we doing? We're preparing our hearts. We're getting hungry. Hallelujah. We're getting thirsty for what God has for us. Jesus said those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be satisfied or filled. Hallelujah. That's what we're believing God for is that outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So, this is a time of preparation. We're not just coming, you don't come upon breakthrough by accident. You actually prepare your heart by removing those things that would try 
to hinder you from receiving from God. Realize this, you can write this down too, that preparation time is never wasted time. We're not wasting time. No, no, no. Come on, what are we doing? We are starting the fire. Hallelujah. We are fanning the flames. Amen. Come on, we're throwing another log on the fire. We're building it. Hallelujah. That's what preparation is. There's building that expectancy in our hearts for what God is going to do in this year. Amen. It's going to be powerful. And I want to encourage you that the atmosphere of expectation is the breeding ground for the miraculous. So that's what I have. I have my expectation up. And my expectation is not on man. It's not on pastor. It's not on people. But my expectation is on the Lord. Hallelujah. And so that's where we draw our strength from. And he will always be faithful in Jesus' name. I want you to write this in the comments tonight. Expect breakthrough. Expect breakthrough. And then for you personally, <clears throat> you can do it this way in your own notes. Expect breakthrough in, and then for you personally, I told you at the beginning to be specific. Expect breakthrough, and then you list it here. So for us as a church, as the Way Church, I'm expecting breakthrough in our attendance. So we are expecting breakthrough that we as a church would go from 75 to 150. Pastor said double. So we're expecting double breakthrough. So we're breaking through. I'm being specific. This is my expectation that in 2020, our church will move from 75 to 150 regular attendance Sunday mornings. Amen. What does that mean? That means that there's more salvations taking place. For every one person that we already have, that means that there is double. Hallelujah. That's what I'm believing God for. What does that represent? In those that are part of you know, our church family, that means it's your family members coming in, your friends coming in, your coworkers coming in. Hallelujah. So that's what I'm praying for. I'm praying for a breakthrough in your families, that they would break through those barriers, those hindrances, those limitations, that salvation would come to your home, your house. I know there's spouses, there's children that matter to you that you're looking for God to break through in their life. Hallelujah. Turn with me and we're going to pray in just a moment. I'm going to lead you in prayer. Uh, but turn with me in your Bibles. That's right, Edna. Amen. Expect breakthrough. Glory to God. Turn in with your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 54, uh, verses 2 through 3. We're going to look at that. Isaiah chapter 54, verses 2 through 3. I know some of you, you might not have your Bible with you at the moment. I'm going to read it to you. And uh, <clears throat> somebody could just maybe write it in the comments. You don't have to write out the whole scripture, but just the reference so that people have that. Isaiah 54, 2 through 3. It says this, Enlarge the place of thy tent. Hallelujah. Enlarge the place of thy tent. That's that expectation right there that God is getting ready to expand you, to break through in your life. So enlarge the place of your tent. Isaiah 54, verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. What are you doing? That's preparation for the breakthrough that God has for you. You're preparing ahead of time. You're making room for what God is desiring to do in your life. Hallelujah. Come on, that's that expectancy. You're placing your expectation on God that as you begin to cooperate with Him, you grab hold of the Word of God, you start putting it into action in your life before you see any proof of anything coming to pass. You're saying, Lord, I'm expecting breakthrough in this area, so what I'm doing right now is I am making room for your expansion in my life. Hallelujah. So I'm going to expand my tent. I'm going to stretch forth the curtains of my habitation, and I'm going to spare not. Everybody say spare not. Come on, this is a time. The time to hold back is no longer. Come on, church. The time to hold back is no longer. It's no longer time to play it safe in Christianity. It is time to go all in for Jesus, be red hot, on fire, full of the Holy Ghost, and going all in for him. 
No longer is it time to hold back. No longer is it time to spare any longer. Amen. So don't hold back any longer. Realize <clears throat> what you hold back. That's the, See, these are limitations, barriers. When you spare, when you hold back, that is a limitation that you're placing on God's ability to break through in your life. So that's why the word of the Lord is spare not. Don't hold back any longer. Come on, press in together. Let's go even further in what God has for us. Come on, this is exciting, amen. I know he's got great and mighty things in store for you. As we press in together, the breakthrough is coming to your house. Hallelujah. So it says, spare not for and lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. That's what we're doing. We're strengthening them, strengthening them in the word of God. <clears throat> That's how you can strengthen them. Verse three says, for thou shalt break forth. There it is right there. Underline that. Break forth. Break forth. Come on, that's breakthrough right there. Break forth. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left. And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities inhabited. Hallelujah. That means that you have a heavenly assignment from God Almighty, our Heavenly Father. You have a heavenly assignment from our Heavenly Father, and He is going to break forth in your life as we spare not. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that's Isaiah chapter 54, verses 2 through 3. And what I'm encouraging us to deal with this week as we go through our time of prayer is this. Six things to let go of. I know I talked about it this morning, but we're going to take time praying them out now throughout this week as we lead up to our, our breakthrough revival on Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be powerful. So number one is this. Number one is we are going to deal with comparison. I want you during this week, during your time of prayer and during your time of fasting to deal with these six things that you must let go of. This is how you're preparing your heart. These are all issues of the heart that we're dealing with that is prepar preparing ourselves for the breakthrough that God has for us. Now, these things, these things that I'm sharing with you, these are those limitations, those barriers that the enemy would try to keep in our lives so that we wouldn't experience the breakthrough that God desires to bring to pass in your life. So the number one that we're going to pray about tonight is comparison. 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 Comparison, I want you to know, is a trap. It's a trap from the enemy. You personally have to receive your own call and purpose from the Lord. God has a plan and a purpose for each and every single person and that uh, he has his own destiny for your life. Hallelujah. And so what we're, what we're wanting to do is to make sure that we get the mind of the Lord for our own lives individually and that we don't get distracted comparing our lives or our calling or our purpose to the one that's next to us, whether it be our neighbor, our friends, those loved ones in our lives, different people, because then we can get caught up in that trap, compa constantly comparing our lives to somebody else's life and never being fully satisfied with what God is doing in your life. It's a way that the enemy will cause you to miss what God is actually doing in your life because you're so caught up looking at somebody else's life that you can't even see the work that God's doing in your own. Amen. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 30 says this, a sound heart or a sound spirit is the life of the flesh. Hallelujah. A sound heart or a sound spirit is the life of the flesh, but envy, envy, that's that comparison. When you start comparing your life, you begin then to envy and you start envying what somebody else has. People who can do it sometimes in their marriage relationship, they'll look at somebody else's marriage and they start envying their marriage because they start comparing theirs to, uh, to that other person's. And then they start becoming dissatisfied in their own and thinking if only my 
relationship was like theirs. Well, guess what? Not everything is as it seems. That's why you've got to press in for your own and apply it to your own life. Don't look at somebody else's supposed finances and start thinking, oh, if I only had the money or the income that they have, guess what? You don't know all the behind the scenes. You don't know what they have or what's been given to them or how they've earned or how anything comes to pass. No, 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 no. Come on. Don't compare your life, those things in your own life to somebody else's. You take a look at your own life, what God has called you to do, and you be faithful what God has called you to do and ask him, Lord, how can I make this multiply for your kingdom's sake in Jesus name? Amen. Hallelujah. All right, one final scripture, and then we're going to pray. We're going to pray together, and we're going to attack this comparison, and we're going to press in for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, one final scripture that I want you to see, <clears throat> 2 Samuel chapter 5 and verse 20. This is our theme verse for the year concerning breakthrough, and this is talking about King David and as he became king of Israel, and immediately his calling, oh, I hope that you're hearing me, that you're still paying attention. His calling, his purpose, his destiny was being challenged immediately by his enemies and the enemies of Israel, the Philistines. Realize the enemy of your life, Satan, the devil, will try to oppose your purpose, your destiny, your calling, and he will try to hinder you at every turn. But thanks be to God. Come on, somebody. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus and gives us the victory. Hallelujah. Thank God for that. Amen. So don't be surprised when the devil, though, he tries to put barriers and limitations and watch what happens. Verse 20. So David went to Baal Perizim, and defeated the Philistines there. He defeated his enemies. He defeated those things that would try to keep him back. He defeated those barriers. Hallelujah. And then look at it. He said, the Lord did it. Come on. That's where we're going to look back. And we're going to say, look what the Lord has done in my life, in my home, in my family in my daughter, in my son, in my spouse, on my job. Hallelujah. You personalize it now, all right? Look what the Lord did, David exclaimed. He burst through my enemies like a raging flood, or he broke through my enemies. Those barriers, those limitations that the enemy or myself has placed in my life, God has broken through those things like a raging flood. Hallelujah. So he named the place Baal Perizim, which means the God of the breakthrough or the Lord who bursts through. Hallelujah. So receive this now, that the God of the breakthrough will visit your house. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray with me? Come on. I hope I've stirred your faith. I've encouraged you a little bit this evening. If we're going to press in together in prayer. I want you to unite your heart with mine. If you can pray in the Spirit, I encourage you. Pray in the Spirit while I'm praying. I'm going to pray in English, but I'm going to also pray in the Spirit. And I encourage you to do the same. Let that be a launching pad. Let this be a priming of the pump now to get you to pray in, And then continue to pray this out until we come back tomorrow. And we'll go over the next one. Praying all the way through this week. We're going to pray through. Come on, don't stop short. Commit now. I'm committing this time. I'm going to commit it with you. And I'm going to commit it to the Lord. We're preparing our hearts. We're placing that expectation for breakthrough to visit our house in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for each and every single one that is watching now, that is joining their hearts, their faith with mine. And Heavenly Father, we are pressing in together for breakthrough in 2022. Lord, we thank you that you are the God of the breakthrough. Hallelujah. And Lord, I thank you that you desire to visit each and every single one of our houses in the name of Jesus with your breakthrough. So Heavenly Father, as I have encouraged us to become specific for those things that we are believing for breakthrough in, 
Lord, we give those things over to you tonight in Jesus' name. And Lord, we place our expectation on you. Heavenly Father, we take this moment even right now to quiet our minds. Lord, to open up our hearts for that which you would have for us in 2022. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would begin to speak to our hearts. Lord, that you would begin revealing those things, even those difficult things, those uncomfortable things. Lord, that if we would take the time right now, that's what we're doing. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I thank you for revealing in our spirits, Lord, those things that we've allowed to become barriers and limitations in our lives. So, Heavenly Father, as you begin to reveal them by the Spirit of God, Lord, I thank you that you're revealing them to us now. Hallelujah. Lord, that you're beginning to open up the eyes of our understanding. Hallelujah. Revealing your wisdom, your truth to us. Lord, giving us the revelation knowledge that we need so that we can address these things now in Jesus' name. I declare that those things, those barriers, those hindrances, those limitations would be broken off of us now in the name of Jesus. And Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight specifically dealing with the first thing that we need to let go of, comparison in the comparison trap. Hallelujah. So God, we give that over to you right now in Jesus' name. Lord, those areas where we have been stuck comparing our lives to the lives of other people, Lord, and allowing it to become something that is unhealthy in our lives. God, right now we surrender that over to you now in the name of Jesus. Lord, may we grow content in you, your plan that you have for our lives. Hallelujah. Lord, I just sense your peace as I've just spoke that out. Hallelujah. Come on, just receive that now. Come on, the contentment, the peace of the Lord. Allow it to just begin to flood your heart. Hallelujah. Come on, there it is. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we rest in you. We rest in you. We rest in you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Come on, keep praying in the spirit with me. Don't grow weary. Don't grow tired. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for that. Your peace that comes from resting in you and not constantly having to compare our lives to the lives of others around us, Lord. But Lord, finding that contentment that comes from our relationship with you, knowing that you are on our side because the blood of Jesus has been applied to our lives. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we rest in you. We trust in you. We thank you that you're faithful. Lord, that you uphold us with your righteous right hand. Hallelujah. Lord, that you are going before us and you're preparing the way. Lord, you're our rear guard and that your angels, they encamp round about us. And Heavenly Father, as we're taking this time now to seek you, to press in, Lord, for supernatural breakthrough in our lives, Lord God, I thank you that it's being taken care of now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we rest in you. Lord, we don't envy others. Glory to God. Lord, we don't envy the wicked. Lord, we don't envy those that have obtained things with unrighteous gain, Lord God. Lord, but we have desired and placed this in our hearts, Lord, to seek you first in your righteousness. Lord, we thank you that as we do that, Lord, that all of these things, all of these things that weigh on our hearts, God, they shall be added unto us. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we receive that tonight in Jesus' name. Come on, let it go. Let it go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead, put it in the comments tonight. I know you're saying it out loud, but thank you, Lord. Come on, write it. Write it in the comments. Thank you, Lord. 
Come on, some of you, you might just have to go like this. I'm letting it go. I'm letting go of comparing my life, my marriage, my home, my house, my car, whatever it may be. I let it go tonight in Jesus' name. My ministry, my church, whatever it may be, I let it go. That comparison, envying others. God, I get rid of that tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I receive, I place myself in a position now to receive the breakthrough that you have for me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Que do robo shakando robonde. Rabasi kendo rashakando rumbonde. De base kendo rose kenda rabashata. Beke de de boso kondo rishi kenda rabasi kede de bede. Be de rosho undo rishi kanda rabasata robo shakanda ribe se kenda rabahaha. Come on, the one that's been stuck being broken free tonight in Jesus' name. The one that's been stuck in that comparison trap being broken free tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ke do ro shakanda raboseke. Rabasata robonde shakando robonde. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He just said that. The way to break through is to begin to be grateful. Hallelujah. The way to break through is to begin to become uh, grateful. Hallelujah. So because we get stuck in that comparison trap, come on, that's why it's important to be led by the Spirit, to pray by the Spirit. As we're doing that, the Holy Spirit, He's speaking to my spirit. I know He's speaking to your spirit as you're connecting together, but he just dropped that. He said it. Hallelujah. The way to break through that comparison trap is begin to become grateful. Hallelujah. So right now, just begin to lift up your voice. Come on. Come on. Become grateful. Hallelujah. That's right, Maria. Grateful for wherever you're at right now. Hallelujah. Lord, we rejoice. Glory to God. And we are glad. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, this is the day that you have made. And we choose to be glad in it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we're grateful for it, Lord. Lord, I'm grateful to be alive in 2022. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, this shall be the best year of our lives in the name of Jesus. I declare that over each one. Hallelujah. We give you the praise and the glory for it. God, I thank you that you have preserved us and you've brought us through another year. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you that I am not stuck. Hallelujah. But I'm advancing. Lord, your people are advancing. They're not stuck in Jesus' name. Glory to God. You're leading us victoriously, triumphantly. Hallelujah. So God, we give you the praise. We rejoice in you. We're grateful for what you've done in our lives. We're grateful for what you're doing right now in this moment. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your voice. Begin to be grateful. Come on, lift it up. Hallelujah. Lord, come on, if you've got great health, thank the Lord for it. Lord, I thank you for great health in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you've provided divine health in my life. Hallelujah. Come on, whatever you have, you be grateful for that now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for my wife and my four children. Hallelujah. That they all each love you passionately. Glory to God. Come on, begin to be grateful. Lord, I thank you for where you're leading us and guiding us. Hallelujah. Lord, how you're providing for us. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Come on, this has been good. Amen. Come on, this is what we're, all that we're doing right now is we're priming the pump. Praise God. And so you step over. You can stay in that place and you can keep praying. Hallelujah. So what I'm encouraging you to do tonight, as you go to bed, as you lay your head on the pillow, you just thank the Lord for what he's done in your life. Come on, the very first thing that you should do is to thank him for your salvation. And out of that, begin to allow your heart, let it flow out of your heart. Hallelujah. And if you don't know what to say, you just begin to pray in tongues because you give thanks well when you're praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. You can't give thanks any better than in that moment of praying in other tongues. Hallelujah.
Well, know this, that Emily and I, we love you, we bless you, and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. We're going to continue on. Come on, how many of you are going to be back tomorrow with me? I don't have a specific time right now, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep praying. Uh, tonight, obviously, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Breakthrough Revival, Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be powerful. And Edna, yes, we're praying for you that you get out and back home. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen, Lulu. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your night. Know that we love you. We bless you. And we're believing Breakthrough is going to visit your house in 2022. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Gail. <laughs> Amen. God bless you all.